low-hanging fruits into turning that um, trend back around because, you know, we had improving health, we had imp with improving sanitation, and then recently we've seen this rise in obesity and diabetes. And what would you say are the three things um, that we could do today that might help turn that around? I'm not so sure about today, but I, I actually got asked this, it would be 20 years ago, and I first gave that presentation to ACNAM at a, a special speaker's night, and I was asked that same question. I said, well, the first thing I'd go for is sugar. Yeah. Uh, if, I, if I had only one thing I could go for, that would be it. Sugar should be basically banned as a food additive. It certainly should not be allowed in any drinks for, for children. Um, what can we use it for? Oh, well, ethanol, you know, but, you know, we could... <laughs> We can certainly find other uses for sugar and sugar cane, but yeah, sugar would be the, the first key thing I would go for. But I think we, we also have to really, from a governmental and a, and a personal level, get the idea that, and, and, and as Diana said and I was saying, it, we have to look at self first. Mm -hmm. There's no point forever putting blame on everyone else and other systems and external everything. No, it's we take responsibility. We've abrogated personal responsibility. You only have to look at all the litigation to see that. We have to take back personal responsibility. We are responsible for what we put in our mouth, for what we choose to think, for whether we move or don't move, what we're doing with our sleeping, how much exposure we've got to, to screen time and, you know, and so on. So, yeah, personal responsibility, sugar. Oh, that's two. <laughs> Three. Uh, my, my, my third big, big, big concern is the whole thing around screen time, phones, electromagnetics, that whole thing, because you, you see it with children, you see it even with adults, it literally is sucking people in and trapping them. Mm. Yep. That, that's, that's my third big, mm. big thing.